Hi and welcome to the Dakar Team GB pre-Dakar Q&A session. That's a bit of an intro. On to the questions, I guess. So, what brought you guys to this point and why have you chosen to enter the Dakar? Do you want to kick off, Stan? Well, for me personally, it's uh, it's a bit of a challenge, isn't it? If you're off-road racing and doing desert races or that's your interest, then obviously the culminates at the end of the each season really it's the most famous one so if you're going to do a big race it'll be the one to do wouldn't it yeah it's the pinnacle yes so toby why are you doing the dakar for you i guess same similar things really it's uh an adventure it's a serious challenge you know on all levels sort of mentally and physically and you know, I guess I love motorbikes and um, or love being on riding them rather. Yeah. So uh, all together, it's it's, it's 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 the ideal challenge. Cool. I guess it's slightly different for you, Patsy, because you're you're not riding anymore. So why do you still come back and uh, and help out these guys competing in the in the Dakar? That's a very good question, actually. Why do I do it? I am asking myself that question quite frequently. Because I think once you've been involved with an event such as a Dakar, it, it never goes away, it never leaves you. Or really the, the ones where it gets under your skin is it becomes very, you know, passionate and close to you. And if you can pass on everything you've learnt, either the easy way or the hard way, and pass it on to fellow riders who wish to do it, then for me, you know, I get a, a, a great sense of reward out of that. There's time, I wonder why I'm doing it, but... Yeah, I don't think it ever goes away, and I suppose then for me it was sort of became a natural progression to go from being a rider to doing the assistant side. Yeah, still get pangs where you know you watch the lads go off in the morning and think, God, you know, it'd be much much more fun to be on the bike than um, grabbing around and clearing up. You know. Yeah. Are you ever seriously tempted? Uh, I think I was. This January, probably more so than I have been other years. And I've got a feeling with the route that it's going this year, through the three from Argentina up to Peru, then I think, you know, I might get that urge. But for me this year, being at the 10th year, then my main objective is to, to get to Toby and Jago to the end. Cool. Cool. So, Jago? Um, well, my main objective really is to see push Patsy how far we can take her, <laughs> and um, see if we can get us through crawling and kicking. No, I, I think you know, similar to the other guys, it's a, a, a big challenge, and um, I, I wanted really a major sort of life event or challenge to to look back on. The Dakar is the Everest of, if you like, of the motorbiking world, yeah. and something you know you can always be proud of and, um, and and draw upon later on and look back on you know fondly. So I think that's why I want to do it, to challenge myself and um, to have some, some brilliant memories and uh, experiences of it. Mm-hmm.